Hi all and welcome back to Red Star OS. This time I'm in an Xubuntu live CD so I can download the Linux installer for Unreal Tournament Game of the Year edition. As far as I know, this script is unmodified from the year 2000. I don't want to risk using a flash drive or anything like that or wasting a CDR, so we're going to do it this way. One of the first challenges I need to overcome is getting this Loki script over to the hard disk. Let's see, hard disk, user folder, Kim, download, what? Permission denied my ass. Let's try public folder. Paste option grayed out. Okay, I think. Okay, let's see what permissions are. Uh, ah, root. Okay, what I'm going to do now is very unclean, but what the hell? Sometimes it takes installing a graphical file manager and running it as root to get around this horse shit. Normally you'd want to copy this via command line, but I'm in a hurry, and I don't care what it looks like. I'm just going to do it this way. Now, let's copy the script. Then drop it onto the hard disk. Here we go. Users, Kim, download, and paste. Now, let's change the owner because we likely won't be able to do this under Red Star. Hmm. Hmm. Which one of these users will correspond to their Red Star counterpart? Hmm, this would be easier if I knew what the user ID number was. Or, how about the Ubuntu Live user? It doesn't it doesn't exist in Red Star, but it likely would be changeable by the Kim user. Okay, now time to reboot back across the 38th parallel. I'll just pull out. <laughs> the flash drive. And it's booting. <laughs> they really did a good job of making it resemble the Mac OS. Logging in as Kim again. See, it was helpful setting everything as Kim. Now I'm going to speed up the video from here during the installation. First, I need to take ownership of the installer script. Then, I need to change the mode using 755 here. All you really need is read and write permissions, but then again, we're doing it the quick and dirty way. Now to run the script. And it didn't blow up. Well, I'm going to allow the defaults for now. Typically, you want to have this run as root to install to the USR folder, but since Kim is the only user of this machine, we can get away with installing it to Kim's home folder. Best practices, though, you really should install to the USR folder, but it means you'll have to install any mods, mutators, etc. as root. On modern distributions, this installer is where things will go off the rails because a lot of the dependencies that the script lies upon are gone. If you Google around, you can find some efforts by others to update the script, but for the most part, you're going to be jumping through hoops to make this work. Most of the time, it's easier to install the Windows version under Wine. Unfortunately, Loki Software went out of business shortly after this release. It's a shame because it seems Valve is the only player out there taking Linux gaming seriously. Uh, 
Okay, the installer is done. Let's see how this thing works. Oh wait, I forgot. Hang on. There. No sound, but that is to be expected. I'll add some in post. It is likely whatever sound daemon is in use here doesn't support OSS. OSS is the open sound system, which is a very antiquated way of getting sound on Linux. It has since been replaced by both ALSA and Pulse Audio. Here, I'm going to set up my controls and the player character while I ramble. Oddly enough, the video seems very smooth. It's worth mentioning that this is the integrated Intel video. I had considered putting a small GeForce 8400 back when I first assembled this thing, but the fan was way too noisy, so I took it out. Let's see. SDL OpenGL. Yep, sounds right. I am aware of two other Linux specific renderers that aren't available to the Windows release. One is the AcidGL renderer, which gives you the appearance of being on Acid. <laughs> like I would know. The other is an ASCII 2 text renderer that you would use in the terminal. Both are a bit of a novelty, but still pretty fun. I recall reading somewhere that some of the menu options have been no-opted, as there are differences between both the Windows and the Linux clients. Okay, let's kick this off. How about some capture the flag? Okay, one capture is enough. <laughs> this is amazing. The lack of sound is a bummer, but whatever. I highly doubt anyone north of the wall would ever have been allowed to play UT, or any other game for that matter. Oh well. Leave a like and subscribe. Drop me a comment and let me know what you think and what else you'd like to see. See you all in the next video.